things that makes Sakura so effective for so long is that it remains active in the soil for an extended period, long enough to control weeds that emerge when most other pre-emergent herbicides are no longer effective. But one combination of factors can turn that advantage into an issue that needs to be managed. In the sandy soils you find in WA and some other parts of Australia, heavy rain can distribute Sakura so far down into the soil that it will be so diluted it won't provide the usual high levels of control of germinating weed seeds, especially at the soil surface where their numbers are highest. Even with moderate rainfall after sowing, Sakura tends to take a few weeks to reach peak levels of control in sandy soil. The band of Sakura-treated soil may be diluted below the optimum concentration and weed control can then be slower. Overall weed control will usually be satisfactory, but some weed escapes can be expected. When the rain is very heavy, this pattern is even more pronounced. In extreme cases, the upper soil profile can be left without any effective concentration of Sakura. Often there'll be nothing you can do to prevent this dilution occurring. Unless heavy rain is forecast in the lead up to sowing and you can wait to spray and sow after the rain has fallen. But of course you don't usually have the luxury of sowing every paddock at the best possible time and the forecast isn't usually so clear cut. A more convenient option in most cases is to tank mix Sakura with another pre-emergent herbicide. Adding trifluralin for example is one very cost effective option that can help support the overall level of weed control. The trifluralin provides short-term control of weeds germinating near the surface, while Sakura will go on holding back late germinations from further down. The management of this issue can be quite specific to each local area, so we suggest you talk to your local Bayer Crop Science Technical Advisor or call our Technical Inquiries number 1800 804 479.